Blogging isn't new and chances are you already do it or you have done it in the past. Now, if you aren't doing it, then you really should be, as it's a fantastic way to market yourself just by telling stories. And this could be educational based, like telling people about a new Lightroom feature, or it could be the places that you've been if you're a landscape photographer, or the adventures that you've had, or even the couples that you've worked with in the past if you're a wedding photographer, for example. Now, if you haven't started blogging, don't worry, it's okay, because I want to show you a really cool program today called Narrative that allows you to blog and get started really easy without any pain at all. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so welcome to Narrative. This is essentially what you're greeted with when you first open up the program. Now, basically, uh, if you have published blogs, you'll see them here, and as well as unpublished, so you can just filter through those up here. However, uh, what I want to do is we want to create a, a new blog. So let's go and create one here. Let's call this the Grampians Adventure. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Grampians Adventure. Padding, you can change if you want to. Background color as well with a color wheel. I leave it white because my website's actually white. But uh, this is where you go for your select uh, or your source folder, I should say. So the way I do it is, ah, I haven't even connected it. So that would help. How about I go and grab this? All right, so I've just plugged it in. It's gonna pop up here in a second. See, so this is my folder that I want. I'm gonna click open on it. And now you can see the source path right here. So essentially, it's actually referencing these images on my hard drive. So you can use narrative offline. You don't need to upload to WordPress or to Squarespace. You can do it just from your hard drive, a USB or your local disk. So I'm gonna create a blog. And this is where the magic happens. So this is essentially, I keep saying essentially, this is where it's going to all come together. So you have your gallery on the left hand side here, which you can actually blast these images right up in your face, give them a little bit more uh, size to them. You can go through your filters and if you have rated images or if you've given them color codes in Photo Mechanic or Lightroom, essentially it's going to there we go again essentially but basically you're going to load these images right now uh, and you can filter through them with that filter if you so wish these all have a blue tag from lightroom um, here in the middle this is where you place and drag and drop your images or your text so this is what we're going to use to create our story and then the top right this is our detail panel Basically, you can put your blog title, you can change it, you can add meta description, you can add focus keywords for SEO, and then you can publish the blog down there. But then over here, top right hand corner, you'll see a little tag, click that, and this is where your SEO recommendations are. So the cool thing about narrative is it gives you tips and pointers on good practices for SEO. So if you're not the best at it, and uh, I'm, I'm guilty of that, so it just gives you pointers and, and things that you can improve on. But with that out of the way, how about we get into the fun stuff? So I'm gonna start off by dragging an image from my gallery, straight bang, right into the blog itself. So this is a full width image. So you can see from left to right, it spans the whole way. So I might zoom in a little. And there you go. That's how I start off a blog. I start off with a big thumbnail that I quite like. Then I'm gonna add some text. So you can drag and drop text in, you can, uh, create or whatever you want. So this is a cool little bit of text. Yeah, we'll go with that. No worries. Okay, so here you go. This is how we are currently structuring the blog. But what we want to do is we want to drag some more images. Now, when you drag an image, you'll notice that you have this blue line. So the blue line does change. So if you want to position the image above the one that you have, then you can just go on the top here, you can go below on the bottom, you can go to the left, or you can go to the right, or you can actually replace the image itself. But I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to bring that back down. I'm going to drag this image underneath the text, which you can go above to the left again, so you can uh, uh, do inline adjustment if you want to, but I'm just going to go down the bottom, and here you go. So now that's basically like the, the basics of adding images. How about we play around with the dynamic sort of responsive uh, layout system that they have? I don't know really what to call it, but anyway, I'm gonna drag this image here and I'm gonna drag it next to the one we've got. So now I've got two images in this really cool stack, but what's really even uh, more cool, is that even a, a word or can I say that? 
But anyway, I can drag these images underneath this selected image or this selected image or all of it together. So I'm actually gonna drop it underneath uh, this image here. So now we've created this three image stack, which is pretty cool. But I actually want these images to be a little bit bigger than they are. So to do that, I wanna bring this image across. So I'm gonna double click it and I'm gonna grab this blue handle here. I'm gonna drag it backwards. So that looks pretty cool. Now, what it also does is, is it says that this space is now um, too small to fit your entire image. So you can move it to select the portion of image that you want it to show. So anything in the highlight area is obviously gonna show and then everything in the grayed out area is gonna be masked away. So I'm gonna click enter. And there you go. So I've now got this one, which was a horizontal image into kind of, it kind of looks like it was a vertical. Now I'm going to add uh, another image underneath to show. And then I might add a vertical one here and then a black and white sort of squarish image there. They're all kind of the same thing. So this is, sorry, this is just like an example a bunch of images from a Grampian shoot that I have done. Uh, I'm gonna drag this down here underneath. And I'm gonna see what happens if I did this. Okay, so I've created this really cool sort of stack. Although, can I swap these images? So if I drag this on top of this, oh, that's cool. So I can change it around depending, like if I if I do that, so if I drag from over here, sorry, I didn't even know that. So if I drag from over here, it will replace it. But if I drag from here to there, then it will just swap it. Um, and then down here, I'll just finish off with another full image. So once you've created a really cool layout that you enjoy and actually tells a story, this one's a bit uh, kind of, <laughs> how you going? So you've got this, this bang. Now they're still facing away, facing away and facing away, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to come over to the detail panel and now I'm just going to um, going to show you basically what happens here. So this red for focus keywords is telling me that I actually haven't got any keywords on this. So I'm going to do something about that. Um, we're going to add some keywords. So for this, it would be Grampians. It would be a wedding and we will call it adventure. Now we'll do focus keywords for adventure. So these are the three keywords that I want to focus on when I'm doing um, basically elopements or adventure weddings. So th this would change depending on what you're trying to market and all your sort of SEO stuff. But if I come back, it'll show me having a green little dot. So basically good stuff. You have, you've actually written some keywords. Good on you. But uh, now we've got all these problems here. So you got SEO title is too small or too little. Made a description does not exist. So uh, maybe you should create one. Image keywords, what are they? You haven't got any. And text content, basically it's saying that my blog content is too little. What are you doing with yourself? So if I come back here, um, I'm going to say Grampian's Adventure Wedding. Uh, so I'm gonna increase the title a bit. What happens? it will say SEO title is good, well done. You've created a good link title and uh, it features your keywords or all of them actually. Made a description. Um, let's go with uh, Justina and Alejandro, who these two are, which are fantastic couple who would go out into the freezing cold for me and uh, let me take some photos. So thank you so much, you two. You were absolutely amazing. Um, I'm gonna go Justin and the Grampians. Adventure wedding. Click enter on that. Uh, let's see, so it should give me, okay, so it's saying that I should probably add a little bit more detail to that for the meta description. I'm not going to, but just for the sake of that. Image keywords, it's saying that you haven't added any keywords to your images. So if you go in here, you can, once again, you can go adventure, you can go Grampians, uh, it does remember, so that's really cool. I'm gonna go with wedding. Now I've got three keywords for each of these images and cause they are kind of all the same. I'm gonna control all, control C. And the sweet thing I found out earlier, um, cause I've actually, especially for my wedding one, which was a little bit tedious, I actually clicked on every image 
and <laughs> added the keywords and they were like a hundred images long yeah it's quite tedious but i did it anyway so boom there we go so every image now has image keywords go back here green again and then text content well i'm not going to expand it but if you did then it will tell you you know this is this is how you go so with that all done and you like the look of your blog which it's okay <laughs> um, i could have done a better job with creating a proper story but I'm going to go down here. So if you go settings, you can just input your website and what sort of hosting you have or what platform. For me, I had to choose Squarespace because I use Squarespace. Uh, and then you hit publish. Now what's happening here is it's actually uploading all of your images to their server. And essentially your blog or your images are being hosted by their server. And what happens here is once it uploads all the images, I've got really bad internet here, so this might take a little while, but once it uploads all the images, it'll say blog status published, uh, and then it'll spit out this little button that says pretty much copy link. And what we'll do is we'll copy that link, and that's what we're going to use to uh, pretty much insert the blog into our website. So I'm just gonna wait for this to finish up, and then I will touch base again. All right, images are uploaded and uh, we are good to go. So let's click copy link. You'll see a little notification up in the top right hand corner there. And let's open up Chrome. Here's one I prepared a little earlier. So <laughs> um, essentially what I'm going to do is click on edit. So I've created a dummy post. So this is a dummy um, blog post. Uh, I'm just gonna click edit and let's edit the body content of this blog. So I'm in Squarespace, and if you use Squarespace, then um, this is how you do it. I believe for WordPress, uh, I can't remember, I haven't used WordPress in a long while, but essentially you are pasting HTML code. So for Squarespace, you go click on this plus button here, you go down to code, and we're gonna get rid of that, and we're gonna paste our blog code. And we're gonna click apply, so this is what it looks like in preview. Um, the weird thing is um, Squarespace doesn't let you load scripts in preview mode. So just gonna click save here. And here we go. So um, it probably won't work that way because we're in Squarespace's preview. But we'll go to my website and we'll do it this way. Oh, you can probably hear my computer heating up now. It's creating a little bit of an oven for itself. Thank you, Mac. <laughs> All right, let's click this and here we go. So here is the blog. So it's loading it right now, but you can see, um, oh, you are, oh, yeah, I know what's happening here. I'll tell you that in a second. But essentially, um, that's the blog. So that's really cool. I love the way it looks. Like, honestly, it's, it's really, really cool. It's actually a polished feel and it's so easy. Um, you could do this in Photoshop. You could do a really old school way and jump in Photoshop and actually create these kind of like block or blocks if you wanted to. Um, that would do my head in. But the bad thing about that is for SEO, you'd be kind of creating like four images worth in one image. So it probably wouldn't be the best. But um, you'll notice this is where our text should have gone. But if I highlight, yeah. <laughs> so um, basically what my Squarespace theme is, I've actually mucked around with the text. So this would come under normal text. And my normal text, I've set the design sort of style to be this capital letters or white text. So uh, that's my mistake. So just to take note, it will, uh, adjust to the settings that you have for your text on your Squarespace design style. I don't know about WordPress, but yeah, that's just a thing to be wary of. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much how you use narrative to create a really nice looking and fluid looking blog. So with that uh, all done and dusted, let me jump back in front of the camera and uh, sign us out, shall we? Alrighty, so there you go. That's a quick overview of narrative for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions regarding narrative and how to use it or things that I may have left out, 
drop them in the comments below and I'll make sure I get back to you and answer them for you as quickly as I can. Otherwise, if you did love Narrative or you wanna give it a shot, check the description or maybe I'll have a coupon code here or something like that. But basically you can go try it for free via the link, sign up for free, and then I believe you're able to publish one live blog. Um, otherwise, there's three tiers of membership with uh, 1050 and unlimited blogs. And if that's something you're into, if you actually love the program like I do, then you can use my coupon code to get a 15% discount on your purchase. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. My name is JonoWin35, and I will see you guys in a next video.